episode 2659 of the number one podcast and Apple podcast for job search. You are listening to or watching No BS Job Search Advice Radio. I'm your host, Jeff Alton, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome. Welcome to Thursday. Welcome to Thursday. I'm in a good mood. And, you know, I'm hoping you're going to get to a point where you're going to expect, expect a job offer. And this show involves questions to ask yourself before you accept the offer, because there's a certain amount of momentum that builds up, and maybe you have two offers or three, and um, you got to sort them out. So today's show is about questions to ask yourself before accepting an offer. Hope you find this show helpful. I want to remind you, visit my website, thebiggamehunter.us. The blog has a ton there to help you go exploring, schedule time for my coaching you or for trusted advisor services where I answer your questions and help you that way. And we'll be back in just one moment. Eight questions you should ask before accepting a job offer. I'm Jeff Altman, The Big Game Hunter. People hire me for no BS coaching and career advice globally because I make things so much easier for people. I worked in recruiting for a long time and helped more than 1,200 people find full-time positions and even more find consulting assignments. And one thing I learned over the course of my career doing recruiting, which I don't do anymore, by the way, is I helped people make quality decisions that it avoided some of the mishires that occurred. And I want to give you a number of different questions that you might ask that are going to help you identify, well, give you a greater probability that this is going to be a good fit for you when you accept an offer. Why do I say greater probability? Well, in much the same way as you're putting a good face on and trying to show off well for them, they're doing the same thing for you. So you'll see in the way I pose some of these, it works with the assumption that they may not be completely truthful and you have to dig in deeper. So the first question I want you to ask is, and this is really about asking yourself, what's your ideal company culture going to be like? What should the firm be like to work in? And what might you ask them in order to draw that out of them so you're not guessing, you're hearing from them what their culture is like? The second one is, what kind of boss do you want to have? What will they be like that is going to allow you to want to work for them? And what might you ask he or she that's going to help you figure out whether or not they are that person. The third is, what's going to cause you to walk away from an offer or from interviewing with them? What are the things that you just can't tolerate that are going to make you say no? Now, that could be something as they're not talking about the right money or the hours are off or the commute is too far. It's anything that's that you would consider a deal breaker something that you just couldn't accept that's going to cause you to walk away. What are your absolute requirements? What are the things that you must have from this firm that's going to cause you to want this job? And then from there, what are the pluses that you might want to have? Next is in terms of your work environment. What is it physically going to be like? Is it going to be private offices, a cube? Is it working close proximity to people? Is it hybrid? Is it working remote? What kind of work environment is best for you? Are these requirements for you or do they fall into the must-have categories or the nice-to-have categories, I should say? The, The next two, the last two here are extremely important. What are your career goals? What is your career path? What does that firm need to provide you with to help you satisfy your goals? Now, I know they're all go- always going to hedge and say, well, it's going to depend on your performance as to whether or not we can help you along these lines. So concede that point in your own thinking because there are no guarantees. 
But starting off knowing what your goals are professionally, what you want to achieve, and what kind of career path is necessary for you from this particular employer to help you set, to accomplish that, those goals. These are absolute things that you need to invest time in, to think through. Now, I want to encourage you to really spend time with this because it gets confusing as you start to talk to more firms. This firm says this, this firm says that. It sounds great. Oh, she's wonderful. He's not so good, but the work is terrific. It gets confusing. Write down everything. Write down your impressions of managers, the people that you meet with, the firm, real time. Don't wait until you have an offer to start doing the pros and cons. Start working on these questions before you get the offer, because this is going to help take away some of the pressure from you that's going to allow you to make as good a choice, a great choice for yourself. I hope you found this helpful. I'm Jeff Altman. Visit my website, thebiggamehunter.us. There's a ton of the blog to help you. Plus, if you have questions, you can schedule time for a trusted advisor call or, you know, a, a salary negotiation call if we're at that stage, I'd love to help you. Also, I want to mention at the, at the site, there's information about my video courses, books, and guides. Again, there's a lot there to help. Lastly, connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. Have a terrific day, and most importantly, be great.